tell us your topic and who your target audience is. Okay, so my topic is animal fostering, and my audience is a wavering audience, or wavering to friendly, of like families in suburban areas. Okay, okay. ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Olivia. Um, so, have you ever wanted a pet, but you didn't want the commitment or have the money for a full-time pet? Well, there is a way. Um, if you look at statistics from humanesociety.org, there are 7.6 million companion animals that enter animal shelters nationwide every year, and 3 million of those um, cats and dogs um, are euthanized every year as well, and 2.5 and of those 3 million, which is about 80%, um, are healthy and completely normal and adoptable when they're um, put down just because of the lack of space and resources. Um, many people believe that the pets that are in the shelters are unadoptable, which is why they're in there, but that's not actually true. Um, a couple of the reasons, uh, main reasons, is because people move places where pets aren't allowed, like an apartment or something, and they just can't, there's no one that can take it and they don't have another option. Um, or allergies, they either Get an, aller or get an allergy or they move in with someone who has one already, um, they might become too expensive and they just can't pay for it anymore, and they might have gotten a new job and they don't have the time, and just things of that nature. Um, fostering animals, simply put, um, is just saving, li saving animals' lives, um, and anyone who can do it should um, greatly consider it. Um, both adoption groups and shelters are in need of foster homes. The shelters need them um, because they may not have, um, or the organizations may need them because they don't have an actual shelter facility where they can house the animals they need. They solely rely on um, people's homes to keep the organization running. Um, they foster, or um, I'm sorry, animal shelters also need them because um, they might have um, animals that give birth and their um, babies can't be adopted at that time, but they don't want them to have to stay at the animal shelter because of the stressful environment that sometimes they can have. So they give them to foster families so they can um, raise them and nurture them in a good home so they'll be more adoptable. And um, sometimes they also need a foster home to recover from surgery or an illness so they're not in um, that environment as well. And sometimes if animals are showing signs of stress in an environment, they'll occur a foster home for them as well so they can um, get better. And some animals that come from really bad backgrounds and stuff that are very social, they'll send them to foster homes for that to become more socialized and more adoptable for that reason. Um, when you foster an animal, there are tons of benefits that they receive, obviously, but there's also a lot that you can receive. It's a really rewarding experience, and a lot of people who have done it um, will say that. You get the satisfaction knowing that you helped save an animal in a bunch of different ways. You could save their life directly. Um, or just save them from abuse and stress and just a bad life. Um, every animal who goes into a foster home brings down the amount of animals euthanized every year. Even if it's just one, that saves a spot in the home for someone that's not going to be put down. Um, and then you also just gain a network of friends and animal lovers. Um, they, the pets bring you lots of entertainment and they're really nice to have around in your home. And um, when it's over, you'll know you'll have completed someone's family. Um, it makes you feel really good inside to foster a pet. Um, Steven Simmer, who worked with a rescue thing in, um, I think it was Virginia, he said, it's truly remarkable watching the dogs transition from skittish, scared little animals to trusting, flourishing members of a family. People find different ways to enrich their lives, but fostering dogs is what does it, both making the dogs feel better about their world and making us feel better about ourselves. And I really like it because um, he's just explaining that even you're say, you're helping the dog, but or the cat, or whatever animal you have, but it's also enriching your life as well as theirs. Um, and also, it just um, animal shelters are the um, sorry. And rely, the lay rely a lot on you, and um, they help save the lives of lots and lots of animals. And I just think that if you have the chance to do it, that you definitely should consider it.